Social networks are full of photos of Russian military equipment located near the Ukrainian borders. Many of the samples of this technique have identification marks in the form of the Latin letter Z on board. What does this symbol mean and why could it appear? In short, in this way the military identifies the belonging of vehicles to one or another unit or formation, association, of the armed forces. All combat vehicles of the armed forces of the Russian Federation must have their own tactical numbers and other identifying marks that make it possible to determine their affiliation. They can be in the form of various geometric shapes. Most often it is a circle, triangle or square with numbers, letters, or pictures inside. As a rule, they are small in size and are intended more for the understanding of commanders in order to distinguish their tank from a vehicle from a neighboring unit. In a combat situation say, during offensive operations these signs no longer have much meaning, and the enemy simply does not see them. A similar purpose is for side numbers that are applied to the tower or hull of the equipment. They are still three-digit, like the T-34 Rudy tank from the Polish series three tankers and a dog, which bore the number 102. The numbers also encrypt the affiliation and serial number, while in one regiment it can be the same for both a tank and an infantry fighting vehicle. The color of identification marks and numbers changes seasonally to contrast with the overall color of the car in summer it is white, in winter camouflage black or red. But what does Z mean in this context? The Russian military themselves are in no hurry to decipher such marking on their military equipment at least publicly. Many of them themselves do not even know why the command was given to apply identification marks in the form of the letter Z framed by a square. The more complicated, the better, the main thing is that the enemy does not guess, they say in the army, without going into the meaning of such a creative thought of command. It can be assumed that the letter Z is an indication that the equipment belongs to a particular military unit or association. For example, there is information that all equipment marked with the letter Z is from the Western Military District of the RF Armed Forces. At the same time, the word West in English is West, but making a stencil for the letter W, W, is much more difficult in the field, and so I waved a brush a couple of times and painted Z squared. Again, Z in relation to the West is much easier for the perception of the Russian soldier, and the Russian letter Z is similar to the three the number three. By the way, the system of identification marks was described in the combat manual of the ground forces in the edition of 1982, in which the main emphasis was on maintaining secrecy. Little has changed in the Russian army in this respect since then, including to make it difficult for enemy intelligence to determine the ownership of military equipment. To this end, the tactical designations applied to the vehicles are regularly changed. So the letter Z on Russian armor may soon change to some other marking. During the hostilities in Chechnya, identification marks and side numbers on Russian helicopters and armored vehicles were often painted over, said military veteran Colonel Vladimir Popov. You can't confuse your own, but the militants often arranged a personal hunt for the most harmful, in their opinion, crews, so they had to be, to be disguised. But the paratroopers, on the contrary, emphasized their belonging with the emblem of the airborne forces and the flag of the troops in their positions. At the same time, a wolf appeared on the equipment of the 45th Regiment of the Special Forces of the Airborne Forces. At first, it was an unofficial symbol of this unit, and then the top took root, and now flaunts on the official emblem of the brigade. In Soviet times, military equipment, in addition to the established identification marks and tail numbers, had additional differences in foreign groups of forces East Germany, Poland, Czechoslovakia and Hungary. There, a red and white circle was applied to the cabs of cars and military equipment, with a red star on a white background and white letters SA on red. The border aviation also had its own identifier, mostly by helicopters. It looked like a white stripe along the back of the sides and cargo compartments. Here it can be assumed that the military trucks with a white stripe on the hood, seen now in the Crimea, belong to the border service. However, any army unit can be noted in this way who knows, he will understand. Now on Russian military equipment, in addition to the approved identification marks and tail numbers, it is allowed to apply only the emblem of the armed forces of the Russian Federation a red and white star. All other symbols are for parades only, and additional markings are for exercises. The application of emblems on military equipment is provided only for participation in parades, said Sergei Turchev, expert of the military heraldic service. There is a corresponding order of the Minister of Defense in this regard. An exception can be called combat aviation, where the symbols of the aerospace forces are allowed on board. Plus, we are all strategic new 2160 bombers are personalized, with a corresponding inscription on the fuselage. Insignia are developed directly in the troops, 
taking into account the specifics of a particular unit, then they are brought into line with the heraldic requirements of the Russian army, and only then approved. But they are intended only for ceremonial events, the same parades, but not for military operations, where camouflage is of great importance. The letter Z, which was now seen near Ukraine on Russian vehicles, has nothing to do with them it is only a temporary identification mark for official use. It doesn't matter to look for some special hidden meaning in it, it's just a sign of identification.